Like, I want to see what porn Fauci's watching, don't you? I want to see. Like I, you, I sent you in a text. I want to send you in a text. I want to see like I, I'm tired of this like oh leaked documents, you know, like you know between Russia and Biden and stuff like that. I want to see like look at all these browser TV emails, you know, and the reset yeah. my passwords on Pornhub. <laughs> you know, I want to see the kind of those emails. Like, that's I think if you're I'm elected to office, you are obligated to show all the documentation of all the fucking yeah. porn sites you're signed up to. I think that's <laughs> yeah. that should like, be in the law. That. that should be real. Yeah. Yes. Like I want to see, see those emails get leaked. Could you imagine getting a video leaked of Dr. Fauci jacking off to a bad Wuhan? It's funny that I'd rather see that <laughs> than this crap that we're getting. Like it's like, a bat. it's like it's like in it's, the lab. It's this. Hey, how you doing, everybody? My name is Michael, the chairman, and this is Ryan Radio. And welcome back to the Walk and Roll podcast. So, Ryan, the big news story right now is that Dr. Fauci's emails got leaked. And yeah. what we're finding out is a lot of fun things, like how yeah. masks apparently don't work like consumer masks you can buy. None of them work. I mean, Isn't we, that interesting? Did we, I mean, did we expect that, though? I mean, like his... Those those emails are dirtier than my skid marks in my shorts. Sometimes, I mean, let's be uh, dirty as an asshole, I'm, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, I, I was kidding, but I mean, those are, they're really dirty, fam. They're really dirty. They're really dirty. <laughs> Who else really in the dirty. news cycle <laughs> is bringing up Dr. Fauci's emails and then immediately compares them to the shit in their underwear? <laughs> maybe maybe that's the type of journalism we need. Maybe we need articles that talk about that, that make it more fun and entertaining for the consumer to read. People don't want yeah. to read this garbage. Yeah, honestly, like people nowadays want to read something funny. So they want to read, hey, let's compare this to this. That's low-key a good idea. We should start a website like that. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, to start my yeah, website. You, we should write articles. Yeah, we because no that. one wants to read these common sentences saying, oh, yeah, the reporter found so and so. Wow. Sorry, you lost me at the first sentence because it sounds so boring. Like, you yeah, need to have you like, to be out people there. look at the headline, yeah. but then as soon as they start reading the article, like, oh, this is boring. Yeah. We could legit, yeah. like, like the Babylon Bee has really funny satirical articles, but they're mm -hmm. satire, as in they're not, yeah. they're not real. But we could take real stories and just make them funny as fuck for people to read, but still about yeah. the facts. Yeah, like the, the title could yeah. be What's Dirtier? Skid marks or emails, you know, <laughs> Dr. Like Fauci's that. emails. What yeah. has more dirt, my underwear or Dr. Fauci's? Emails? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then <laughs> and someone would click on like, that, be like, This is weird as fuck. <laughs> yes, someone would click on that though, knowing that it's weird as fuck, mm -hmm. and then they would and they would read it because they, there'd be some funny, some funny analogies in the article and stuff <laughs> like that, you know, like no one, like no one just has the attention span for this, this like boring, normal crap anymore. Yeah. We got TikTok now. What do you expect us to fucking have attention spans? Like, I mean, come on. Yeah. That, that, that's it. 10 seconds is like, you know, like a short term memory loss. Everyone has it, you know, because they yeah, watch the TikTok. So like, oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, I wonder you if know? more people are going to start to get like dementia earlier on now because we're like addicted to TikTok. Probably. And stuff. Well, I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's How like short that. our attention spans are? Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, I mean, mine's, so like, mine's already bad. I have ADD. You think? You think? Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, no, that, you have like, like don't you have ADHD, which is even worse. No, no, no. Cooper has ADHD. I have ADD. Oh, you have ADD. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have. I just like have your brain works well. faster than your mouth, so like that's why yes, you stutter so like sometimes. I speak fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but, yeah, but that like, means your brain, brain is moves. working faster than your mouth can keep up. So yeah. technically, you should be really smart. Yeah, but see the problem Just is that is like, when I when I talk when I talk about something, my brain's already thinking about something else. So mm -hmm. I'm already like I I ha that's that's why like when I like fall asleep, I have to have a TV on because it actually lets me focus on one thing that's on the television and it lets me go to sleep instead of you know if I just sit in a quiet room. My brain is just racing. It's just going. But, but that's everything. what mine does. Like I took like we were talking about before we started recording that like we both got like yeah. barely any sleep. And I went yeah. to bed a little bit earlier last night, but I just, I couldn't sleep. I, I just can't. Yeah. My brain goes a million miles a minute and I will lay in bed, even with my eyes closed for like two hours before I eventually yeah. nod off. Yeah. But so if I, I, I have like I ADHD watch, maybe too. Yeah. So. If, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, <clears throat> it's really common. Like you could, you, you probably have, yeah, it's some people may not be diagnosed with it, but it's really, it's really common. When people, yeah, the doctors have been busy out with a couple other things. They're like, that's the yeah. least of your worries, Michael. Like, yeah. come on, man. But when I tell people I have ADD, people think I have cancer. It's like, it's just ADD. Oh, I'm I so chill. sorry. 
I'm so yeah, sorry. Say sorry. I'm like, what do you say sorry for? Like, what the, like, like, what do you mean? I, I'm so, like, what are you sorry for? Because everything so is like, like an illness now. Yeah, except for like the know, real illnesses. You know. Yeah. Like, like now it's right now it's LGBT. I was just yeah. talking to my mom about this. Like right now it's LGBTAQ plus or what right was it? LGBTQ Q a plus. plus. Right. I got yeah. I think it's Pride like plus, month. Yeah. Um, and I, me and my mom were like, this is so stupid, right? Just like Black History Month is stupid. Like what Morgan Freeman said was like. Why are you going to delegate my history to a month? Yeah, it's ridiculous. We should always it's like, honor that. Yeah. If you're pro LGBTQA+, then it should be like a year-round thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's stupid. You shouldn't get a month. No one should have a month or a day. It's silly. Well, then Just I like how Mother's that. Day and Father's Day were created by Hallmark so they could sell yeah. cards, which is like most people yeah. don't even know that. They're fake holidays. Like everything's yeah. fake in this country. It's all you fake. Know. I was thinking like maybe that the, it's Pride but, Month, so we, every day represents a different letter in the LGBTQ thing. You know, all thirty-two. There's thirty-two letters, so there's thirty there are thirty-one letters, 32. thirty-one days in the month. Sorry, thirty-one letters, thirty-one days in the month. You yeah, know, they keep adding a letter other. for every day in the month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Dave Chappelle for, calls them the alphabet people, which is hilarious. It, it, um, it, it is. Like, that's like, what it is. Like they're so pointing out like divide division signs and shit now. <laughs> uh, yeah, they should add division signs and multiplication. So. But like, um, yeah, they should have a multiplication for like twins, like a time symbol for like twins mm -hmm. or like for, you know, other stuff. But anyways, mm -hmm. yeah, they, yeah. of all things, of all, of course, there's no cripple month. There's nothing for like, there might be a day. I'm not sure, but there's no cripple month. Where's the cripple pride month? Seriously, because cri be crippled people like disabilities cuts across all races, genders, ethnicities, sexualities, whatever. It cuts across everything. And guess what? You can actually raise money to help these people. You know what I mean? Like, you, there'll be a donation. Month. Hey, take time out of your uh, day to look into some charities to help people less fortunate who are born at a lower starting level than you. That would make sense to me. And not to, like, be arrogant because I'm crippled or something, you know, to say, like, help me. But I'm just saying, like, that would make more sense than saying, be proud you were born gay. It's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking yeah. about? It's like me saying yeah. white pride. White pride is retarded. You're retarded if you're proud of being white. Just like you're retarded if you're proud to be black or Mexican or any race. You should be proud yeah. of your achievements, not your skin color yeah. Yeah. or your sexuality. Yeah. It's well, like, where's have... the heterosexual parades? I'm not going around grabbing tits at Mardi Gras going, oh, fuck yeah. Fucking ha happy hetero month. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? It's well, so silly. Breath. They do have breast cancer awareness month and stuff like that, but it's, that, it's that, funny, that like, makes more sense. That makes more sense yeah, to me. Yeah, but Bill Burr has a great bit about like keep that shit out of sports. We're trying to watch one thing here. He has a good bit of it. Mean, it's funny. I'm, I'm not saying I agree with it, but it's funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, it's funny, but it's like I kind of like they, the players wear the pink and stuff like that, and you know all like some of the proceeds that they do, that they do for NFL in that month or week they donate toward toward. And that makes more sense, awareness. right? But that makes yeah. more sense. That's yeah, like a good like, thing. It's helping people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unless yeah, the charities are pocketing people. all the money because yeah. there's a lot of corruption and we know a lot. Oh, of that. well, I mean, actually, no, the yeah. NFL, okay, the NFL <laughs> is in the, the state of California. I mean, yeah, you got to be careful here. You yeah, know, their homeless budget was a billion dollars mm -hmm. and almost a million dollars didn't get spent on homeless people. I wonder no, where that went. So, oh, no, no, so, sorry, the fine line you know. a billion dollars is spent on the homeless, but 999 million goes to us. <laughs> yeah, the P, the CEOs of the <laughs> nonprofits. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How, they, why, they, why? I think it's called a nonprofit because the homeless people are not going to profit. The CEOs are. That's I why. Mean, to, be, to be honest, my question is why do we like? Like, I mean, I know what the, the Fauci email is saying is really, but why don't we look at Nancy Pelosi or something like that? Why do we go to someone that just causes more problems than Doctor Fauci? Like someone that's more cancerous. Like, I mean, they all cause problems, but Doctor Fauci literally because of his mass mandates, which were illegitimate, that we all officially know I, that is now fact. That is fact. That is a real, no conspiracy theory. These are now oh. facts. That Dr. Fauci lied about the effectiveness of masks outside of a hospitalized area. If masks work in hospitals because of the amount of contagion they're around constantly yeah. and they have a higher quality masks. And dentists, then, dentists wear them too. Well, that's just to keep out different. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. like the mask you can buy at like Costco or just actual medical paper masks um, or just wearing cloth over your face, right? Those are all ineffective. To an extreme degree, they're all bullshit. It's all fake. It's like the TSA, where they snuck in all these bombs uh, to like prove it doesn't work. That's real too. The TSA is all bullshit. The masks are all bullshit too. 
which is it's hilarious to me because everyone was branded a conspiracy theorist who believed in this stuff, and now it's all real. Same about the lab. People are like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. You came, you believe it came out of a lab. It came out of a fucking lab. It's like, yeah, that's dude. real. That's yeah. real. So now everyone's backtracking it, and it's like, what now? What now? They're like, who fucking cares, dude? It's like, what do you mean, who cares? You ruined well, the world. It's actually funny, though. Do you know how many it's people lost funny. their businesses, you fucking retards? It's, it's like unbelievable. Funny. It's just unbelievable. It's funny. It's that, it, they say that who fucking cares. It's like, it's, not that, it's like one of those movies where, like, you know, we go through this whole thing, and then at the end, when it's all over and everything's coming back to normal, I was like, oh, by the way, that didn't work. But everyone's like, ha, 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 ha funny, yeah. It's okay, we're, we got through <laughs> like, it, you know? You make, the, you make a, a light joke at the end of, like, Oh, all our friends died. <laughs> We're yeah. alive. Yeah. It's so yeah. silly, man. It's, it's just like, it's retarded. Like it comes at the end. It comes at the very end. But, like, but my point is, is like, there's more people like Miss Good in the morning, Sunday morning. You know, why don't we just like use that on her? You know, why can't we get, you know, why is it just about the, sun, the, the Nancy Pelosi clip? What about it? Like, I mean, just why can we use it like that Freedom Act and use her emails? She probably has some dirty shit on her, too. So you're, you're talking about the the reason why Dr. Fauci's private emails got leaked was because of the freedom act right the freedom of information yeah, act was yeah. it but why can we mm -hmm. why is that why have why is it just being used for Fauci? why don't we use it for anybody else that's a good question that's a good question i don't know why yeah and it's weird that maybe, all of a sudden his emails got leaked i wonder who's yeah. trying to fuck him over there's someone who's probably I mean, trying to fuck him over for a reason because he's on the inside club He's in the yeah, inside I mean, club. He, he's real close to Bill Gates, and Bill Gates is being taken down now, too. And everyone who called Bill Gates a fucking uh, criminal and, you know, all of these other things that Bill Gates has done about vaccines, which are not good, where he tested on people in Africa and got a lot of people killed. Like, the, every, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. It's like, these are all facts, though. These are all facts, and now they're finally coming right. out. But why is the mainstream media finally covering it? That's the question, and I bet that's blowing real conspiracy theorists' heads away. Because, like, wait, you're admitting this? Why are you admitting this? We're supposed to be the conspiracy. Like, everyone's like, why are you admitting this? Which is like, it makes sense to me too. It's like, why are you fucking people over? Why is the mainstream media all of a sudden accepting it? It's yeah. like, what? I don't know. Same with aliens. I, I, why all of a sudden now? Why are you admitting aliens exist all of a sudden? Everything is happening all at once. It's weird. Yeah. And no one's talking about uh, how weird and how much of a coincidence this is. If it is, I, like... I love how all your impersonations are Alex Jones. Like, oh, you're a piece of conspiracy theorist. You know, like how all you, you do your Alex Am I talking Jones like Alex? Right now? Yeah, you're, you're a conspiracy Yo, what theorist. up, you Alex? Know, like, yeah. How yeah, on like, the show, all you, bro? That's all, you, that's all you do is like, you, like your impersonations now of people like saying the calling people conspiracy. <laughs> you're just using the Alex Jones voice. Like, that's all you go to now. But no, I, I, I get it. Like, why is it all now coming out now? But it's like at the same time, it's like, why can we use it? Why does it like the only people, like the select people, why can't, like, if this is an act that we can just use, why aren't we allowed to use this more on other people? Like, we talk about how, you know, we have a bunch of bad people running the country. Why can't we use that on, you know, all of them? Like, Expose yeah. all their dirty shit. Yeah, all of like, them. Who knows? Nancy Republicans, Pelosi Democrats, has, like, fucking a month's all of them. Worth, yeah, maybe who knows? Nancy, Nancy Pelosi has like a month's worth of salon appointments that she's signed up for that she can't go to because, <laughs> of, you know, but like, you know, but we can't see she, that, you know? The wildest part of that story is how as soon as she got caught going to a salon without a mask on, she said, they set me up. She immediately put the blame on the citizen who was just trying to make a living doing their job. And Nancy fucking Pelosi chose not to wear a mask. And she's like, she's, they set me up. You're a fucking witch. You understand that? You're a witch. <laughs> the same woman that thanked George Floyd for his sacrifice, you know? Yeah. Oh, thanks for sacrificing your life, George. He's like, uh, what? He's like, I want to die. Shit. Well, I was on fentanyl. I didn't know what was going on. This was yeah. a sacrifice. You know, like again, like why? Is, like, it's like a, it's like a what, an avalanche. Like it's like a, just a giant snowball as it carries momentum. More and more shit is getting in it. You know, and we're, mm -hmm. it's all coming on at once. And I see you know? two things, two way outs right now. Either our this really will wreck our country because everything will be so destabilized, and then China can come over and just fucking start wrecking shit. Or we do root out a lot of the corruption and our country becomes more powerful than ever with good people at the helm. It could be either really bad or really good. And I hope it's the good. I, re I really do. Yeah. But I mean, what, what else would be fun to leak, leak with the Freedom of Information Act? Like, I want to see what porn Fauci's watching, don't you? I want to well, see... I like I, told, you, I, I sent you in a text. I want to send you in a text. I want to see like I, I'm tired of this like oh leaked documents. You know, like you know between Russia and Biden and stuff like that. I want to see like 
look at all these browser TV emails, you know, and the reset yeah. my passwords on Porno. <laughs> you know, I always need to go to those emails. Like, that's I think if you're elected to office, you are obligated to show all the documentation of all the fucking yeah. porn sites you're signed up to. I think that's <laughs> yeah. that should like, be in the law. That. that should be real. Yeah. Yes. Like I want to see, see those emails get linked. Could you imagine getting a video leaked of Dr. Fauci jacking off to a bad Wuhan? <laughs> it's funny that I'd rather see that in this crap Imagine that we're getting. He's like it's like to a bat it's like it's in it's, the lab. It's this it's the same thing, you know, with the Trump thing and then the Biden thing. You know, it's always this Russia link, Russia link. It's old. So like I said, I want to see these porn links, you know. I want to see like, oh, this dude <laughs> says some amount of porn emails, you know. I want to you know, or like him chatting to a camera girl on, you know, a camera girl on four or something. Like, I want to see that. What do you think Nancy I mean, Pelosi comes to? She's probably too dry now, right? Oh yeah, she's like fucking eighty, isn't she? God, do you dude. still masturbate at 80? Is that a thing? Like, do, do people, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't I mean, want to do, picture do, that. Do, de- do demons do that? Do demons masturbate? I don't know. Let's yeah. ask her. Hey, Nancy. I mean, uh, what's up? Um, <laughs> if you're fuck listening, you, first of all. Fuck, fuck you, first of all. Fuck you, first of all, Nancy Pelosi. But uh, yeah, if you want to comment down below on YouTube, uh, what do you <laughs> masturbate to? Do you still masturbate? Well, Honestly, <laughs> let's do some dude, gain of function research here in Wuhan. Yeah, maybe maybe she uh, she does it to like the uh, to the Joe Biden inauguration because it's not Trump. Oh, Joe! Oh, more Democrat policies. Oh, lies. Probably. Can you imagine if someone says that? Like, imagine watching a video on on like RedTube or something like that, and they talk about that. Like all the all the noise you hear is just about like policies and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> slowly masturbate to congressional hearings <laughs> yeah <laughs> jacking off to c-span <laughs> yeah just c-span you just hear you just hear like some you know just some politician talk about you know like uh ha- like health and like medicine for the future of cancer and you're just like oh yes cancer <laughs> cancer <laughs> oh man but yeah oh, so dude. like this whole thing in the wuhan lab is like they were experimenting on how to like make viruses from they were experimenting with animals, taking animals and having the viruses go jump to humans. So they were taking animals and bringing it to humans and then seeing if they can make it spread faster and have worse symptoms. First off, why the fuck are you doing this? I guess it's for biological warfare warfare against other countries. That's the so, new thing. So That's like the new this. Thing, but it's so weird, right? Because if we're America and we want to use it against our enemies, which would probably be China, we're doing the research in fucking oh. China. So what the fuck? It makes no sense. Off. If it's a bioweapon, why are we doing it in China? Because we're funding it. What yeah. the hell is going on here? Why, why don't we do it like off the island of Fiji, like a, like a deserted island of Fiji? You remember like how if we wanted to experiment on nukes, we'd find like a deserted island and we'd mm-hmm. launch it. You know, the Godzilla, like, you know, the movie Godzilla. Like how I was they just going to say, this, right. Yeah. yeah. Like how like this show, like we used to use nukes on these deserted islands and that would, sh- would that was show a good it. premise. It was a great premise. Yeah. Okay, no, like obviously, you know, sorry, all the animals lost their lives on that shit. You know, just didn't know, they didn't know it was coming to them. <laughs> sorry, you know? we nuked your birds. Yeah. Sorry, we nerfed you, birds. They didn't know it was coming to me. But like I said, no, like no human life was hurt. You know, maybe people, yeah, people got blind. Yeah, do island, man. Go yeah, experiment like, on Jeffrey it. Epstein's island. How yeah, about that? Yeah, that, that, that place is probably for least so or vacated. Yeah, it's probably least yeah. or vacated. You know, or like, how about you know, I don't know, use one of the islands on Hawaii that is um, closed down for military for military reasons. Like, yeah, uh, like I do it on a military base there. I just don't get yeah. if we're making a bioweapon, why would we do it in a enemy territory? I, I just, I don't understand that. Cause maybe, because maybe if we thought it leaked out, it'd kill our enemies first. <laughs> 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 what's funny is, hey. what's funny is they contain that shit right away because they're a dictatorship and it went yeah. everywhere else and killed everybody except like mainly Chinese people. Like, it was bad in, like, Wuhan where it started, but that was about it. Like, China's yeah. like, we're fine. Fuck you guys. Because yeah. the other possibility, though, is they leaked it out on purpose, and they sacrificed some of their own people in yeah. order to just say, oh, yeah, hell, uh, fucked us, too. But, then, but it leaked all across the world and fucked everybody. But I would like to know how New Zealand, like, when we were, in like, and the, we were so, like, caught up in COVID, like, we were really high. Like, our numbers were going higher and higher. New Zealand was like, yeah, we chilling. No COVID tests, no <laughs> te- positive tests. Like, how the heck did they do that? Like, it was like, I think they shut down their slammed. borders right away. Okay. Because I was thinking, sure, every like, Trump, country was getting As soon as destroyed. Trump tried to do it, everyone called him xenophobic, including Joe Biden, which is 
in insane. Which, and then nobody would talk pissed. about it after it was like it was a good idea. Trump's like, yeah, I shut down the borders. I do what I supposed to. Ah, you're well, a xenophobic, you're you're man. Yeah. And then yeah, as soon as it's Boris a good idea, it's like, ah, forget about it. We're not going to yeah, bring that him up and again. Boris did a joint eff- joint effort. Like him and Boris closed down travel from UK to the United States at the same time. Mm-hmm. So no one can go back and forth. And he caught so much shit for that. Yeah. It is un- it's just unbelievable hypocrisy. It disgusts me. And these people, none of them are held accountable for their actions. It's like, oh, we didn't have a lot of information at that time, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, some people did and made the right decision. Why didn't you? Are you going to apologize for being a cunt? I don't think so. No. 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 So it's like, it's terrible. It's stupid. Was I, I want coffee, was- by the way. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, <laughs> I I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to milk every amount of energy I have right now out of my body. But it's like, but, but if you think about it, like, I don't, was, did, who did not believe that? I think very early on, we knew that COVID was a thing, that it came out of a lab in Wuhan. Like, I think we knew that. Like, I don't know why people would be like, well, conspiracy theorists, when we knew that right away. I feel like I've always knew that. Like, when it first came I know, out, okay, I have it happened too. in Wuhan lab. I know, but like, Dr. Fauci said definitively that this uh, had the patterns of just it coming from a wet market of a Wuhan bat leaping to humans. And the thing is, I think they were talking, I was hearing Joe Rogan talk about this, and I think he's correct when he's saying Dr. Fauci was probably just trying to cover up the fact that they were doing gain-of-function research in that lab, and they didn't want to show that they fucked up. And all this mask stuff has all been theater to keep us distracted and just completely separate what is actually going on. It's all a cover-up. You know, like, I don't know if Dr. Like, Fauci is evil or has ulterior motive, right? He might just be trying to cover up a mistake, a really bad mistake, yeah. and distance himself from it. But guess what? He's also releasing a book this week where he's yeah. going to probably make a lot of money. So he's now profiting yeah. off this. And he's the highest paid government official currently with $800,000 a year. Okay, so he's a high, that's double what the president makes. Dr. Fauci is making double what the president makes, and he's lied several occasions. Proven. Yeah. Big ones that have yeah, affected like, the entire world. Just how is this guy not going to go to jail? He, I mean, if he gets off, it's it's unbelievable. Dude, no one's no one's being held accountable if he gets off. Bro, he should go I mean, to jail like, for perjury. Dude, I I told my dad that the judicial system's terrible. Like the, the I saw on K two News, like Facebook, that I don't know if you remember, like the kid, like Tyre, like his name was like Tyron or something like that. He was like he was like eleven years ago. He was first pronounced missing. From like he never was seen again after leaving elementary school, and like everybody knows the stepmom did it. But eleven years ago, like eleven years still, she's not tried, she's not gone to jail or anything, you know. Then there's like there, there's like this story that I was told like on Sunday from my parents that there's like this dude and the stepmom who literally took this autistic boy, duct taped him and buried him alive. <sighs> And <laughs> and literally, shit. there's pictures of her smiling and laughing and uh. talking about it like happily. And now they want to talk if she's mentally stable to stand trial. Are you fucking shitting me? She's mentally stable. Book her ass. You know she's guilty. <laughs> That's so. Evil. Why do? You, what matters if she's mentally stable? If she's guilty, who cares? Like who cares? Uh. If you did it, you did it. I don't care. But like I said, no matter what, you cannot be left out to do this to more people. Number one, number two, you need to punish this. You need to punish this, especially to deter other people from doing this kind of shit. There was that story a little bit ago, uh, might have been a year or so ago, where those um, people, uh, what was it? It was like in a bathroom, and they like tied that uh, crippled kid up, who had also it was a bus. It was a bus, and they were hazing him. Like it was a crippled kid. All right, we might, we might no, talk no, about no, a different, no, story. A different story. Okay, we're talking about and they were story, torturing okay. him on Facebook live stream, and the Facebook live stream stayed up for like hours, and them physically torturing them, like lighting his hair on fire or some shit, and doing stuff. Yeah. just terrible things. I mean, people don't talk about how often people with disabilities are targeted. I know and, I and threw, it, it, went through it a lot. I mean, I went through a lot of not just bullying. I mean, I got so many death threats oh, growing up. Oh, I'm just you used know, honestly, to them. though, yeah, like and like I don't know what depth of it's like like evil you had to go into your brain when my dad told me a story about that down that kid that did that had that got duct tape and buried alive the autism kid mm-hmm. i actually felt so much anger sound in my body i actually felt like getting in the car yeah find out where the fuck these people live pull up in an ar and shoot them up shoot them up 
<laughs> yeah. And then, I felt and the then same you know way about the Facebook live yeah. stream story. And then remember, uh, remember when Bane like hung <clears> those <throat> like three agents on a crane in Dark Knight Rises for the whole news to see? I'd hang those two bodies for the whole world to say, hey, <laughs> you treat people like this, I'm going to hang your ass in public and you're going to see it. You know, shot up and everything. Don't you, you know, think we should care. bring back public executions for certain crimes? I think they're like undoubtedly proven. I, I don't I don't know why Oregon is so hesitant to get a death penalty. Like if someone goes and slaughters like 20 people, we're going to put them in prison for 20 years, 30 years. I, I know. I know. A, it's like, yeah, it's time to time we're, to wrap this up. Yeah. Time to. Yeah. Know. Like we're in it. We're, we're like my parents, your your mom, they're going to pay our taxpayers dollars to keep this dude that killed 20 people in prison for 30 dude, or 40 years. Imagine paying your taxpayer dollars to feed the person that killed your child. Yeah. Think about that. No. How fucked if up you, that is. I think yeah. if you, if there's like a school shooter and that guy goes and kills like 20 kids, right? Including your kid. Every parent that lost a child should go and get to like, like whip that someone, you know, do something. Like, or have you, have you seen the show like, The 100? Like there's like a thing where they all like yeah, I tortured like one season. guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you should get to do something. Like everyone gets like one lick in and then you shoot them in just, the face. I right, bring back some brutality. Wait, we need a little brutality. We have it far too good in this country. We need a little brutality to ward off some bad actors. Like I remember, I don't remember what country this was, but I was listening to this uh, yeah. video about, they're talking about pedophilia and they, they literally brought yeah. back like public execution to ward off pedophiles and it works. Like anyone well, who's caught diddling a child gets publicly executed and their pedophilia rates went way down. And I'm like, bring that shit back. Well, then there's Are you another against country. that? I mean, it would be against no, that. No, I'm, I'm totally for that. No, actually, there's another country that if you're caught being a pedophile and you're male, your balls get chopped off. All for it. Yeah. All no, for I it. actually remember I was watching an episode of Ghost Adventures and they were at a prison in like Nevada or something like that. And they said, like, during the, yeah, they said like in the 60s <laughs> and 70s. They had like a like they had like where the people would get hun, you know, hey or hun hain, whatever the term is. They would have families take their kids on this hell, tall hill and have lunches while and watching looking down over the prison <laughs> and they'd see hainings. But it's like those people deserved it at the time, and they probably did far less than yeah, what these people are doing now. You should teach kids like this is what happens when you go and do a terrible, yes. like, you know, like, but like, undeniable what proof is that they did it. What is teaching? There's unjust people, arrest too. Yeah. But, what know. is teaching people going to prison mean anything? Like they do the they do the stupid A and E reality show. Where those kids go stay in prison for a week and they experience what prison's like. Scared okay, straight. Kids like, yeah, but like those are just a handful of like lottery selected kids that go on that experience. Like there needs to be like. I don't, I don't get it. Like, if, if you take a life, your life deserves to be taken from you. Sorry. Like, and, that's, yeah, you know, eye for an eye, right? Yeah, eye it for an eye. Like, does you, it depend you, on the situation, though? Like, obviously, manslaughter is a different care. story. I don't fucking If you accidentally like, hit somebody, someone? if you accidentally hit somebody with your car or there's an accident, there's a gray area there, right? But if you're purposely oh, yeah, going yeah. out, if, it's like premeditated yeah. murder. Yeah, yeah, death penalty. I mean, why yeah. are we keeping you around, right? Yeah, if there's like, if there's like, if there's physical evidence, or some sort of evidence that shows that what you did, you unintentionally killed someone, then you then take 20, 30 years in prison. You know, maybe you get to live past prison. Mm -hmm. But if you... Because I'm all for redemption too, but it depends on the yeah. crime. Oh, for sure. Like, and like I said, like there's some people who are, are who are like, you know, weed's getting... There's people in prison serving more years for be, selling weed than people who are killing people. It's That's incredible. so wild, and it's true. It's so stupid. I know. Like, there's a... I, I read a dude, like, a dude in Chicago spending 20 years in prison for selling, like, a gram of weed. <laughs> it's, it's like, so are you fucked fucking... Up. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like Chicago or something like that. And it's like, are you... Really? <laughs> That's so fucked. But like there's but then like there's this like video. the good was, people who are just benign yeah. get punished yes. the most severely yes. and the big time criminals just get back on the streets in no time. Yes, and then like it's I was terrible. watching this Dayline episode, this Dayline episode where like this girl shot hit her ex and she knew it, and then in the video you can hear her go, Oh my god, he's not dead. And like you can hear her say that. So she killed this man. Oh, two or three years in prison, but she can walk after that. That's so funny. I, 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 well, how do we get that that place in society? How did we it's get the judicial here? system's garbage? It's judicial, judicial system's garbage. It's terrible. Is, is it purposeful corruption? It, like, is somebody bribing the judges to not give them the right amount of time? Is it I, incompetence? I, what is it? Oh, it's because they're retarded. It's because they're stupid. It's just retarded. It's because they're, <laughs> it's, they're just stupid. Like, it's like you. Sp <laughs> it's like you spend this much in law school, but you make 
mistakes that a 10 year old kid wouldn't make. Like I, I haven't spent one day of law school, but I know who should get the right amount of time compared to your ass. Well, you have like, a moral compass. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Some people okay, don't you, have moral you know, compasses. So, yeah. So, you know, you, um, you know, we, so like if I was in Arizona and we was illegal at the time, right at the time, and it's because legal now, you know, you get caught with a pound of weed, two, two to three years of prison, you know, weed, you know, you know, it's weed that's grown naturally, you know, it's because like I told you, like there's a story in Russia where people are dying from smoking weed because it's not actual weed. It's created. It's not grown. It's like this, you know, this weed that pe- people keep smoking. It'll kill them because it's not natural. I haven't you know, heard about that, actually. Hit, you can tell me. Yeah. Oh, I thought I told you about huh. that. Yeah. No, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's a like black market weed and it's killing people. If the more and more you smoke it, the more like it's going to kill you. It's not so wait, it's not naturally. naturally grown. It's like synthetic yeah. weed. Yeah. Because huh. people, because the demand is so high, people just want to make a quick buck, so they make it synthetically, and mm. they don't care if it's killing people. But basically, if, if I look at that dude like that and go, okay, it's naturally grown, you know, I look at the study of weed, you know, weed's bad for you, but it's not like it's not going to kill you, it's not going to do anything wrong. Two to three years in prison, you know, that's two to three years, you know, because it's illegal at the time, but it's naturally grown. You know, you got to look at what the drug is like compared to like coke. Oh, first degree manslaughter, life. Or sorry, actually. The noose is to, noose is around the corner to the left. Wait, isn't you know? isn't wasn't weed uh, a higher class drug than like some narcotics and stuff? Right, like yes, wasn't it like yes. yeah, yeah, yes. ridiculous. It's, it's but you know, it wasn't that, it um the original reason? Wow, I've heard Joe talk about this. Joe Rogan, um, who was it? Who on the new, newspaper was it? William Randolph Hearst or something? Like they they didn't want to allow hemp. To be used because it would be like um what was it they, they would lose money on making paper on some retarded so they did like yeah. a whole uh propaganda campaign about how harmful weed is for a separate complete purpose mm, and it just yeah. got way out of hand and then it became mm. uh you know federally criminalized yeah it's, and, yeah and the I've, whole history of that's I, fucked up yeah yeah and then like now it's you know now i mean you know you don't want to you know I mean, no one can overdose weed. on weed Plus, yeah. we're a free country. If you want to do weed, yeah. you should have the option to do weed. The thing about yeah. like uh, the, some of these other drugs, like you're not going to really, I don't think you should legalize like LSD to just well, do on your own. Like if you want to yeah. go, or like let's say even mushrooms, right? Like you shouldn't be able to just do that by yourself because you could go out and run around the middle of the street, jump out a window. You know, you don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But if you go to a location and they like give it to you, right? And they can watch you and make monitor you and make sure you don't do anything to harm somebody else because everybody else has their own rights. So you should be able to do drugs, any drug, I think, to do whatever you want to do to yourself, but as long as you don't uh, infringe on somebody else's rights. So I'm all for legalizing everything in Oregon, but you should have to go to a certain designated area in order to do it so you don't harm or infringe on somebody else's rights. But everything should be legalized, I think. Uh, why not? Yeah, yeah. You, have, you should but, do whatever you want to do to your own body. Yeah, yeah. But my own, my only problem for that is just like compared to weed, like everything else, that you OD and you can kill yourself. You can overdose and kill yourself. But often. shouldn't you have the right to kill yourself? I, I, I guess you should. I guess you could. But I, I kind of because like if it also can be medicalized, you know, because like I know mushrooms are now being medicalized. Mm-hmm. For people who who are like you know for ADD and stuff like that, they can met, like weed's been medicalized. And you know they put like CBD especially for cream. PTSD yeah. helps a lot for yeah. veterans. Yeah, and, and like and like for like players, players are smoking weed. <clears throat> players are using like the CBD cream, like the the feel good mm-hmm. factor of weeds. The CBD they put the cream on their on like whatever parts hurting them or it's sore. Yeah. Feel great, you know. And now that's becoming legal in some yeah. states. They can actually start um, doing experiments with it and like yeah. seeing the the actual uh, medical properties of it because they weren't allowed yeah. to. Uh, work with it before like doctors couldn't yeah. couldn't look into it because it was illegal now they can start yeah. doing research with can, it so can, can you can you, th- you th- think with all the hippies like in the 60s and 70s you smoke weed was <laughs> illegal they're looking down at us and like wow finally this shit's legal you know and we're dead you know like they're fine the hippies guys, are looking at us. Yeah. yeah the hippies are looking at us like we told you, but, man, that shit ain't that bad, bro. You know, they're man. up there. Uh, yeah, they're, it's not that bad, bro. Like that's what they're doing out there. Like, Isn't that crazy that like some people can dictate to other people that you're not allowed to put a plant in your body that comes out of the ground you were born on. Yeah, that's so and wild. That, to and, me. That, and there's proof that I, I don't even it smoke weed. You. you know, I'm, I'm yeah. just saying this for myself. And, I'm and just saying like, like that's wild in my in my head. Obviously, it could affect you to a point where you could kill yourself. Like, say you go drive high, you could crash and kill yourself. But like you sitting there smoking it or doing an edible. Right. Ain't gonna kill you. Just like you so can't drink and like, drive. I mean, yeah, there's certain things. Yeah. As long as you don't you 
don't put yourself in a position where you can infringe on somebody else's right. You should be able yeah. to do whatever you want. But as soon as you start infringing on somebody else's right, you know, to live or do whatever they're doing, then we got a problem. Then we get yeah. to the legal factor. But as long yeah. as you're doing it for yourself, that's fine. Like, do whatever you want, yeah. man. Same like being yeah. trans or whatever. Like, do whatever you want to your own body. Just don't let make it affect other people. Like, you live in yeah. your own thing, and that's fine. We're a free country. Just like with gay rights. I was talking to my mom about this, too. Because, we, like I said earlier, we were talking about Pride Month and the whole thing. And we yeah. both think it's silly. It's a very silly thing to be proud of your sexual orientation you were born with. I, yeah. Same with your, shouldn't be proud of your race, same thing. But it's like, um, oh, what was I saying? Fuck. I always get on tangents. Yeah, well, we, uh, we were talking quick, about, um, yeah, real quick, though. It. Yeah, real quick. It's like, you know, we, like, they want us to accept them, you know, like, this is our opinion. We want to do this way. Well, then, but then when someone does, like, opinions that they don't, they don't like, you know, the transgender thing, like, maybe it's their, against their religion or something like that, they're looked at as the, the criminal. Like, oh, I'm sorry. So, you want us to accept you, but then you don't accept other people's opinions about yourself, about what you do. So it's a mm -hmm. double standard. So you want us to accept you, but yet you don't accept other people who think differently about you. That's the thing. All, opinions aren't illegal. Like you, everyone no. should be allowed to have opinions. You shouldn't yeah. be fired for having an opinion. I yeah. think that should be illegal. You should not be allowed to fire somebody based yeah. on their political views. Their again, because you're not allowed to fire people based on their skin color, right? Yeah. For what, what they look like or their appearance or anything. You shouldn't be allowed to fire people based on their uh, political views. That's political persecution. That's happening a lot right now. All these things. I cannot believe I can't remember the point I was making. God damn it. You're, you're, you're talking mm. about the LGBTQ thing. You're talking about with your mom about Pride Month and stuff. Yeah, we're I was talking about something about trans. Fuck. I lost my train of thought. I hate it's when okay. that happens so much. Uh, it does it. I I have ADD. I do it a lot. Like I literally yeah. would, like I think about something for like ten seconds, and then I I literally instantly forget. Like saying, "What was I gonna look up again? What was I gonna do again? <laughs> what did I think I was?" Dude, I was gonna it's do? happening to me more and more, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> yeah, it, but then it comes back to me. Like I, I'm like, "Oh, okay, boom, there you go." You know, like sometimes I'm, it I, does, I, and I, sometimes it doesn't for me. Yeah, because like, for some reason, for like I I'm kind of able to like you know say, "Okay, I forgot," but I'm able to like kind of retrace my steps, saying like you know. I was doing this, uh -huh. and I was doing this. Like, oh, boom! Okay, I got it. Because I was able Sherlock to kind of go it. back. Yeah, and I was kind of able to, like, you know, follow my mental footprints back a little uh -huh. bit and go, where was I going? So <laughs> mental I kinda, footprints. Like I said, yeah, it's like my ADD. It's like I, I learned from my ADD that I'll have those. But I learned to be mm -hmm. able to kind of retrip back my like back myself up and be like, oh, okay, because I was doing this, and then I was doing this, and that caused me to think about this, and I think about the idea, right. and then I you know I'm good again. So, well, I lost my point. Sorry, uh, yeah, I it's all good. No, I just, I mean, it's the whole, it's the whole, it's the whole month, man, you know, so don't worry, you know, you have another episode and the whole month to remember about talk about it, so. Oh, God, it's just so silly, man. <laughs> if someone said we have one day to honor our vets, but we have a whole month and we were on the rainbow flag. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> People are dying for your freedom to do that. Yeah, they get a whole month and you only get a fucking day. <laughs> It's like more. And yeah, more yeah. You get Veterans Day. You get one day for Veterans Day to honor the living, and one day to honor the dead, and they get a whole month for nothing. Oh my god! Yeah. Man. It's, it's, like, so it's like every year, more and more people val like do not value what our military and like what the price of freedom costs. Dude, uh, Kamala Harris. That's why I call her, uh, Kamala Harris. She uh, she on Memorial Day said, "Enjoy the long weekend." As a uh, tweet in an Instagram post. That's all she said. She said, enjoy the long weekend. Mm. Little more than, uh, we have a reason for the long weekend. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine if it wasn't her? Like, if it was a Republican that said that shit? How, did the scrutiny, the destruction, that would happen? But the, the thing is, because Repub who knows if they really believe it, honestly. But, like, the Republicans know their base or pro-veteran. So they said that, you know... The, the, they would never say that, but like, yeah, just, yeah, it's just do, unbelievable. Do it's they ever just think terrible. that like there's actually black people, Asian people, Hispanic people, and women who fight in the military as well? Do they do you think it's just white people yeah, now? Exactly, it's and like, LGBTQ, we, 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 yeah. and, and them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it, 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 look, the army. Like I was watching the 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 the, the, the uh, like the boot camp stuff. They talk about that like, adapting to you know people who identify as stuff like that, and like they're they're open with that. Like you know, hey, there's someone that's gay. 
we're open with that and we'll and we'll work with them you know, yeah we don't of want course to, as long as you're a good person a good soldier yes why would yes. it matter yes but guess what yeah. that doesn't matter to people you know they just don't care you know like they want they think maybe saint veterans day is like a white oh. supremacist movement for some reason i remember what i was gonna it's say like, okay um it was about um so at pride month we were talking about um how i was saying like listen gay people should have always had gay rights right yeah because we were talking about yeah. how we've been pairing lgbtqa plus pride month whatever to yeah. Black History Month. And my mom was like, yeah, so, but the Black History Month had history to it you can learn about. But then I was like, yeah, Morgan Freeman said, why well, relegate my history just to a month? She's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I was like, but g gay people did have a history, right? So they are kind of celebrating, hey, we finally got our rights. So I understand that one aspect to it, to bring attention to, hey, we achieved rights. And I was saying like, gay people should have always had the right to be married because we're supposed to have a separation of church and state. So it's so silly to me that they never had rights from the beginning. So that shows that America has not always like followed the constitution justly. Yeah. You know, say, well, I mean, say we had used to have slaves too, yeah. but then we didn't classify, I guess, uh, black people as people, which was just terrible. Or, but, or just you make know, everything, yeah, I was saying, yeah, or just make everything a day, you know, like honor everything every other day, being like on this day, you know, the United States of America recognized gay rights, you know, or like on this day, Martin Luther King Jr. walked down, you know, walked down the Capitol with JF Kennedy or JFK. Wait, exactly. Okay, so you, know, you have a good point. That's the day. You have a good point yeah. here. We honor celebrate the day the gay year. people got yes. the federal uh, license yes. to be married. Yes. Good point. Yes. That's what you yes. should do. Because that's literally pointing, this day is historical. This means yes. something. But when you have a whole yes. month, it literally means nothing. It's just like, yes. we're gay, yay, parades. Mm. It's like, how about you mm. celebrate, we achieved something. We got gay marriage legalized. This is a great thing for everybody, right? Yeah. Everyone can like, be I, themselves. Separation really of church and state is great. The month. Yeah, I really couldn't care less about the month, honestly. Yeah, that's a great point, like, Ryan. Yeah. Great point. Yeah, like, honor honor it, you know, all year round, you know. But when that day comes, we can come together and say, hey, this is a great historic moment for our country. We finally recognize the people that love is love, baby. You know, what you love is what you love. You know, but we honor it year round. But when that day comes, we'll come together and say, hey, what a historic moment. Hashtag, you know, you know, gay pride or, you know, gay pride yeah, day. Or exactly. Because like when, love love, when it does, when, it, when you do, when you do it for a month, it gets lost. People are like, oh, okay, it's a month, whatever. You know, and the people, because and then it just, it just yeah. doesn't feel as historic. It just feels like, okay, it's a whole month. Why does that mean it? You know? So yeah, like have the day, but then year round, we should accept it. You know? Yeah. Year round. Yeah. I, it's it just, a great, like it's said, a great point. It just, yeah, because just like I said, month long just makes people like, oh, okay, it's here. And then people just, woof, it just go over people's heads that it is because people just don't care. It loses its long. significance. Yeah. If it's one because day, it, then you can focus yeah. and pinpoint why that day means something. Because yeah. like Memorial Day, that means that day means yeah. something because you're honoring September our 11th. fallen soldiers. Yep. September yeah. 11th. Do you see Do you see someone tweeting out today, remember 9-11 right now? No. It's when this is September of 11th is when we come together and honor those who we lost that day. Exactly. But we think about it every day that happened, but every but when that reaches that day, we all it's a historic day for us as Americans. Mm -hmm. So when you like, have a whole month or extended period of time, that loses the specificity of the importance. Yes, and the value, yeah. and the value, and it the just, value. Just, exactly. It, yeah, and just doesn't feel it doesn't it doesn't feel like if the Super Bowl was a whole month, it'd be like <clears> oh, <throat> then, well, that's you know, it's boring. You know, it's like hey, I have other stuff to do, dude. It's like you know, yeah. like, it's I'm not going to celebrate the Super Bowl for a month. Yeah, yeah. it's like Super Bowl is a day. That's one day is where we can yeah. say, hey, the two greatest teams, you know, it's a great, it's going to be a great, you know, funny, great commercials, you know, it's going to be good, some good football and stuff like that. For it's one an occasion. Day. And then, it's an occasion. Yes, it's an occasion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, boom, so people forget about, oh, they talk about the Super Bowl, obviously, you know, and say, hey, look what happened last night. But then people move on to the off season. People talk about the off season already, you know, hey, what's this team going to mm -hmm. do to improve for next season? You know, they're already moved on, you know, so it's like. It's a good point. And yeah. uh, let's end it with this. Where's yeah. Cripple Day? I want a Cripple yeah. Day. That's all I'm or asking. ADD Hallmark, day. you listening? You listening, yeah. Hallmark? Yeah. I want Cripple cards. I want Cripple swag. I want the whole Cripple gambit. Okay? Yep. Let's get that started. Hashtag Crips for life. Well, what, right. day, what day would you want now, though? Uh, <laughs> my birthday, February 8th. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Celebrate me. Okay. You know what? Fuck the whole Cripple thing. Just make it Michael... Michael the Chairman Day. How about that? Yeah. Just, do, just do that. Well, that's, that's your birthday. Right. So I mean, that's, that's on yeah, my exactly. birthday as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Ryan's day. Yeah, it's my birthday. So. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, everybody, for watching. These have been a great podcast. This is number mm -hmm. 11.
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help that YouTube algorithm so it can reach more people. And if you're on Apple Podcasts, make sure to rate it and comment as well. And whatever podcast platform you're on, please share it with your friends. I uh, greatly appreciate it. And so would Ryan. Thanks for joining me again, Ryan, for a, a yeah, lovely no podcast. And yeah. um, fuck you, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> and All right. See you guys. <laughs>